Well, the Dow ended about 140 points off the highs of the day. Soft moves coming on uh, the Wall Street, and that's primarily on account of concerns with regards to the U.S.-China trade talks. However, the Dow futures indicates a positive start as there is breaking news that there has been a tentative deal in the U.S. politics by both parties to avoid a U.S. government shutdown. However, again, the street is very watchful of uh, developments in the U.S.-China trade negotiations as the U.S. delegation travels to China this week to continue those negotiations. Across the Atlantic, the European markets did fairly well, all of them higher by almost a percent, and that's primarily on account of some optimism building on in terms of negotiations coming in for the U.S.-China trade talks before the March 1 deadline comes by. Some positive move coming in on FTSE, uh, MIB Italy as well, because the Italian lenders, uh, the ECB said their capital position is better than the requirements laid out by the European Central Bank, so all the Italian banks moved higher. Some moves coming on the Nikkei by about 400 points, bring some catch up to yesterday's uh, closure and also some weakness seen on the dollar yen aiding those exporters. The other e indices mixed uh, a mixed bag of green and red. However, the SGX Nifty indicates a slightly soft start to the tune of 20 points in the negative. All right, uh, Mangalam, thanks a lot for giving us that uh, update on the world view and what's taking place over there. But on that note, here is some opinion coming in from experts on what they expect from the US-China trade talks and of course the ramifications on global markets. We'll come back. I think this trade uh, battle, this uncertainty is doing damage, uh, maybe clearly to China, but also here in the U.S. I think it's weighing very heavily on business confidence. I think you can see it in the investment numbers. Business investment has essentially gone flatline since uh, when the trade war really got going about a year ago. So this is doing real damage, and if we can settle it, uh, then I think the economy should get a bounce. Having said that, I'm very skeptical that the administration is going to be, be able to figure out a deal that really changes anything of substance. It should be an okay year. I mean, you know, fundamentally, we're creating a lot of jobs. And uh, when you're creating a lot of jobs, unemployment low, wage growth is strong. We're in a very uh, strong, virtuous economic cycle. So it's pretty hard to break. We're, work we're doing everything we can to try to break it. But uh, I, I think assuming that, uh, you know, policymakers, lawmakers kind of get it together here and, and don't go off the rails, I think the economy should be okay. All right, that's about the global markets, but our own markets are singing to a different tune. That's the local cue. So we'll do one thing. We'll take a quick break. On the other side of the break, our list of top 10 stocks is lined up.